Hey everyone, it's Yvonne Emile Elisondo from Silver Moon Astrology and Transpersonal Counseling, also known as Silver Moon Counseling. And I have to say, I am so sorry. I am like kind of, I just got back from the gym. So uh, I really wanted to roll this video out um, very, very quickly because I've been running around like a crazy person. Today is my daughter's 21st birthday. And I've been so excited. I completely forgot about this video. So yep, today is September 29th. We do have a um, full moon, a super full moon in Aries at 4.57 a.m. So it already kind of passed, but that's okay because I'm recording this a few hours later. But the energy of the full moon is still very active for 24 hours. And I want to give you an idea of what this uh, super full moon in Aries um, is about and maybe some ideas of how you can work with that energy. All right. So as usual, I am going to show you... Man, and yeah, I, I need to hurry up and get in the shower. <laughs> okay, here we go. So here is the full moon in Aries. Okay, it is a fire sign. It's a very independent, very sovereign, very headstrong energy. And on the opposite side here, we have the sun in Libra. All right, Libra is a very pleasant, cohesive partnership type of energy. So as you can see, two 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 aspects of the polarity here. The other um, points that I do want to mention very quickly is that we do have this Mercury in Virgo, and it is opposing Neptune retrograde um, in Pisces. And then the other aspect that I do also want to focus on is that we do have this um, Pluto retrograde um, Mars in Libra, along with the South Node, is squaring Pluto um, retrograde. And then we have the South Node, excuse me, the North Node in Aries as well. And it is also um, squaring the nodes, uh, excuse me, uh, blah, 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 um, Pluto retrograde. So this is more of a karmic um, aspect. So I, I, I did want to just briefly talk about that. Okay. So full moons. Full moons are about releasing the energy, okay? It's about taking the essence of creation and putting it out into the world, right? It's it's the time when we have clarity because the full moon is up in the sky. I was able to see her this morning at her glory. I was up while the four... 30, and that's central standard time, by the way, um, 4.37 this morning, 4.57, 4.37, yeah, um, so she was beautiful, right, so we have clarity, so that's what the full moon is about, is about creation, right, it's about clarity so that we can put our intentions out into the world, we can use the manifestation that we've been working on and put it out into the world, all right, so if you are Aries, um, or if you are, um, if you have the cardinal signs, which would be um, Capricorn, um, Aries, Libra, and what's the other one? Uh, Cancer. Okay. If you have those in a, in a sensitive um, spot in your, like the first house, mid heaven, okay. In, in your chart, um, you're probably going to be feeling this a little bit more. My daughter, you know, she's 21 today. Uh, she's having this in her house of career. So I'm really excited about what this is going to activate in her house, but Okay, anyhow, let's talk about um, Aries because Aries is a cardinal fire, right? If you know any Aries, they are headstrong. They don't ask for permission. They just go out there and do. Uh, there's this restlessness about them. Okay, and they really have like this laser focus when they when they want to start something and, and, and kind of just create, right? So the energy for the super full moon, it is super because it is closer to the earth. This is, I think the fourth one this year, but um, Aries energy is about creation. It's the first sign of the Zodiac. It wants to put itself out there, right? It's about independence. It's about sovereignty. It's about um, manifesting. All right. That's everything that this energy is with, with Aries. There's this pure fire passion that's ignited and it wants to be out in the world. Okay. And so this is what this full moon is going to be about. It's going to be about creating. It's going to be about manifesting. It's going to be about putting yourself out there. Um, it's supercharged with energy and, um, yeah. So, you know, when we have the struggle with the polarity between Libra and Aries, Libra is about partnership and cohesiveness and harmony. And Aries is like, I don't care. I'm going out there and I'm going to do it. And even if I had to do it all on my own. Okay. The underbelly sometimes of Aries though, is that if it doesn't feel confident, it can lose its mojo. Okay. And so it, it really does require that constant wanting to be in that creative mode. Aries people are not very happy when they have to be still and they're not focused on something that they can bring into manifest, right? So that is the energy that we're dealing with. Now, here's where it gets um, a little bit more, a little bit more complicated is that that Mercury and Virgo, 
okay? And it's opposing um, Neptune retrograde in Pisces, right? Mercury is about the mind. Neptune um, on a higher polarity can make things very spiritual. It's a creative energy. And so this may be an opportunity, again, just to want to focus um, instinctually on that creative essence, right? Focusing on the details because that's what Virgo does. Um, but it's not a very clarifying energy because Neptune makes things foggy. It doesn't, it's not a very, it's not at all grounded, especially in, in Pisces. So you may feel like you want to create something you want to manifest, but maybe you're lacking that sense of direction. Okay. And, and really pinning down the details about you want to create. So my suggestion is go with the feels, <laughs> go with the feels. Don't be so much in your head this time around. Go with the feeling, use that passion, use that heart, use that um, energy that's going to bring essence into being. Okay. Now I'm going to step more into the metaphysical and the more spiritual transpersonal here with this next piece. So the nodes, the, the North node of the, mo of the moon represents moving forward, the karmic future. Um, the South node represents the karmic past, right? So Pluto is that intensifier. Okay. It, it's, it's, we're at a fork in the road, basically, is what we are right now. Um, and this energy is going to be active until November. But this is a time when we're going to have to decide, are we going to step into that karmic future intentionally? Are we going to create, use this energy of this full moon and Aries to create our future? Or are we still willing to, you know, stick with old habits and, and, and not feel great? And, you know, all those things that are weighing us down, is that the choice we're going to make? Because this is a karmic um, emphasis or a karmic phase right now. And so it is about being very intentional about what you want to bring into your life. And so my suggestion to you is, I gave my daughter a, a journal, right? And I said, okay, from now on, okay, for, for this 21st birthday, it's for her to write her intentions in. It's for her to really be very intentional. And she usually is about the friends that she wants in her life, the, the you know, maybe finding a, a boyfriend, okay, um, finding, you know, a, the, the, the job opportunity that she really wants, right? School, okay, and, and making sure she has all of those classes in her curriculum. So anyhow, that is really the energy. That's an example of the energy that we're going to be dealing with. Take the time today to be very intentional about how you want to create moving forward, right? What you want to bring into your experience. And once you have those details down, send that energy out into the universe because this Aries full moon is the perfect time to do that. All right, everyone, that's it. I need to get in the shower. I'm out of here. I have such a busy day. I'm going to be driving my kiddo around and I got lots to do. So anyhow, uh, if you want to learn more about your astrology, you can find me at silvermooncounseling.org. That is silvermooncounseling.org. And that is it. I am out of here. I will see you all later. Take care and bless be.